Hi right, guys, what's up? It's Phil here back for some more Pokemon Mayo on a Nintendo 3DS. Uh, last time we were at the mansion and we got the Poke Flute, I've just made my way back to the Pokemon Center in the previous city here, which uh, isn't too far away, but the reason I'm doing this today is because my housemate Dan, say hi. Hi. Got, uh, got Pokemon today and he's kindly <laughs> volunteered, not against my will or anything, uh, to send me over some Pokemon night. Uh, this is the first time I've done trading on this, and um, there's a little cool feature you'll probably see down here. Oops, if my 3DS will ever register me touching the button. So there you go, you can see him down the bottom, he's called Fei Long. <laughs> and uh, he said nice there, so if I go and hit him and hit trade, we can trade some Pokemon now. You may notice the bottom slots of my Pokemon bar on the screen are kind of empty, that's because I've just got trashy Pokemon at my party once. Dan trades me over some of these uh, better Pokemon, then we will, uh, you know, put them there until I switch the party around. Now, I, I want to point out that I'm actually not going to use any of these Pokemon. I just want them to fill my Pokedex up. Um, you know, he is trading me over both starters that I don't have. Uh, so I will just be using them to fill my Pokedex up. Now, I, uh, I'm just going to stick with the team I had last time. So, for example, I'm going to trade him this Oddish here. And he's gonna give me a uh, Squirtle with a Blastoise in it. Bleh. A Blastoise Knight, which will be the Mega Evolution for him. So it'll be kind of cool to see them later in the game when we get to uh, that point. So that will be exciting indeed. A little trade animation here is a lot better than the ones before as well, I think. Personally. And a lot quicker. There we go. So I get the Squirtle. Yay! I'm sure you're pleased with your Oddish, oh, yeah, Dan. That Oddish, yeah. that Oddish, that Oddish man. Yeah, Dan, uh, he's going to reset his save file. It's just to get the starters. Um, let's kind of always do guy. this. Yeah, such a good guy. So we'll do trade over the Charmander next. Because the Charmander was actually gotten on uh, Pokemon Y, or Pokemon X, and you'll see it's holding the Charizard out X. And we can also buy the Charizard at Y in uh, a town later in the game. So essentially it means we can get both evolutions or mega evolutions for Charizard later in the game. A lot of people were, a lot of people wanted to buy Pokemon X just for the fact that Charizard had the better mega evolution. But now I, I can kind of get it in this version of the game. I don't think Y has a better legendary, but we went to game stores all day today to get Dynacopy. And X was sold out everywhere bar one place. Like... They, they had Y left over, but they didn't have any copies of X, and I don't know why, because... It, it, uh, that wasn't meant to be a pun, by the way, I don't know why. Um, but I think it's because when you look at the Pokemon title games, it's like Pokemon X and Y, and Pokemon Red and Blue, and Pokemon Black and White. It's usually the first name in the, in the games that people usually go for, and so I was always the same, to be honest, but... It's always like that um, with the game, so I honestly think Y has the better exclusives. I mean, it has Tyranitar, which is a pseudo-legendary in itself. It has Heracross, which is far better than the other bug type, which is Pinsir. So those two Pokemon alone, I think, are make it worth it. Legendaries are better. And uh, we got one more left, don't we? He's just trading me over the starters here. So here's the Fennekin that I didn't get. And I think he has a chance spin to trade over as well, just to fill my Pokedex. Because I am going for 100% Pokedex on this, somehow, some way. Um, I'll try that. And once the Pokemon Trade Bank opens up in December, then I can get all the other stuff I'm missing uh, that aren't in this region. So I'll trade over this Ninkata. Has Ninkata always been ground and bug type, though? That's what I'm wondering, because I thought it was just pure bug. We'll trade that over. And there we go. We essentially have... All three first generation starters and all three sixth generation starters, thanks to Dan. How do you feel, Dan? All right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there we go. And also, I want to point out that when I was doing some off screen training, Bulbasaur was about to evolve, but I cancelled it. So, he might be like one level too high right now, but we'll get him evolved. So, thank you very much, Dan. No Let me just cancel this communication. And, uh, yeah, the little, the little, uh, passerby feature is actually quite cool. Like, you can, you can share O pars, which is the new feature to the game. Like, Dan gave me one earlier. And then you can also, uh, talk to them. So, if you randomly see someone in the street, like, Dan's not an acquaintance with me because I've traded with him. But you can say, like, hi to him. And he can say hi back. And it'll come up on my screen. 
So let me just deposit those guys in there. Like even, I think even if I'm in a PC, did you say nice? Yes. Uh, usually it should come up. It comes up in battle, so we're gonna put these guys in here. I know a lot of people will probably cry because I'm putting probably some of the best Pokemon at this point in the game in the box, but I did say I would stick with my team. So let me just withdraw the other guys. And I forgot to update the spreads for Tatsumaki um, and uh, Eib last time. I'm sorry. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. But we're ready to go now. Uh, before I do go there, I will put my XP share back on because I did turn it off last time because I didn't want uh, I didn't want Bulbasaur evolving. So. Let's go. I'll see you guys in a little second. Hi right, guys, uh, we're back. So I took a little break there, but I want to try and uh, get the mystery gift tour chick that has been going live. So let me just receive gift here. I will do it via the internet, I guess. And yes, we can connect to the internet because why not? Why not? Let's go. Let's see what you got for me. A little jolly theme here. So I believe the tour chick has a special ability and it is also holding the Blaziken out. I will receive that. Thank you very much. Woohoo! Oh, look at it. It's so cute. It's so happy. Look at it. Oh, yeah. So I have to go and pick this up from Delivery Girl in the Pokemon Center. So with that, we will quit and we will head on back into Pokemon Y. A lot of people, uh, I think the time has now come where a lot of people have actually started to get the game. And I noticed there's a lot of people in the comments telling me where all of the hidden items are and things like that. And I, while I do appreciate it, um, you know, I, uh, while I do appreciate it, I kind of want to play the game myself without looking at any spoilers or anything uh, and find it all myself. I think that's a, one of the most important parts of the game. Now, here's the question, guys. Who do we get rid of at this point? You know... A lot of people are going to hate me for this, especially because Chili evolves into Pyroar pretty soon. But I'm depositing Chili for an eye in there to make room for Torchic. Because if you guys didn't know, Torchic was the Pokemon that started it all off. Torchic was the Pokemon that originally gave me the name Power Puncher. And a lot of people don't know that, but back when uh, Pokemon... Back when Pokemon uh, Ruby and Sapphire came out, I actually picked Torchic as a starter, and uh, there's a little badge there, what's that? Oh, that's cool. Um, Torchic came, and well, I named it Power Punch, and that is where I got the name Power Puncher from, so welcome to the party, Torchic. Uh, we can't nickname you because one, you're a Pokemon owned by another person, but I do appreciate your presence in the party, and we will continue with you in it today so we did get the poker flute last time and we are going to head on over to route 7 to see what we can do so as they say let sleeping snorlaxes lie unless they're in your path and you need to go by and i am going to try and catch this guy ready play the flute play the flute let me hear this jolly theme that everybody's been oh by the way you'll probably see someone down there um that's my housemate Dan, who's now also playing Pokemon in the other room. So we get into a bottle of Snorlax in typical Pokemon fashion. I am hoping to take this guy down. Oh, oh! <laughs> I believe this is the first time that Snorlax has ever had a standing sprite. So it has taken Snorlax 15 long years to stand up. Uh, what have you got on you, Vans? Have you got any? Have you got sleeping powder? Yep, you do. So we'll send Vans out to put him to sleep. I mean, he's probably going to use sleep anyway. But we'll see what's up here. Amnesia. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Vans, go for a sleep butter on the guy first, please. Oh, wow, he avoided it. Ah! Right, Vans, again, another sleep butter. We're trying to get this. We're trying to get this. I want to get it. I'm sure a lot of people want to get it as well. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's see. So he's sleeping now. So I'm going to hit it up with uh, a Vane Whip, I think. Let's see what we can do there. Again, Vane's is level 16. He probably should have been evolved by now, but... 
you know, we'll see what we can do. This is gonna take a while, actually. I probably would have been better poisoning the guy, but let's send a. I really would like to send a serious, but at the same time, I'm afraid of him actually killing him. What did he do, defense kill? Well, he does have boosted defense, so I assume he could take a force palm. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Please don't die, please don't die. I oh, yeah! What does he have, like a lumberry or something? I'll take that. Oh, man, that packs a punch. That packs a punch. Let's see what I got in my bag. Great ball, we'll use it on the Snorlax. Let's see. One, two, three. Boom! We got a Snorlax! Tour chick level up as well. Oh, yes. Snorlax! Its stomach can digest any kind of food, even if it happens to be moldy or rotten. And of course. I'm going to nickname it as I do with all my Pokemon. And it's a girl, and I was going to call it Cartman. So now I can't actually call it Cartman, which is kinda annoying. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, I was gonna call it Cartman, but I didn't know what to call it now. Um, let's see. Hmm. I have no idea what to call this, guys. I have absolutely no idea what to call this guy. And I'm trying to think, and I don't want to pause the video, so I'm going to try and come up with the name in... Uh, I have no idea. You know what? I'm going to call it... Big Bertha, Big Bertha, off to the PC you go, you fat ass. Thanks very much. What is that? Oh, it's one of those Flafus. Honestly, those things are annoying as hell. Are fru free, fur free. And um, by the way, I did pick up a TM on the way back from the castle. I picked up Vano Shock, which is a poison type move that doubles the damage if the opponent is poisoned. So I do think that would be good on Bobble Sword. Let's just get to that right now. Uh, false Web Swim Claws Protect. Better Shock. Sexy. Uh, the only problem is Bobble Sword is uh, a physical attacker, if I remember correctly. I'm just going to check Bobble Sword's uh, pH here because I don't know what Bobble Sword stats are like. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Bulbasaur is mostly a, well, I guess it has a decent physical attack and a decent special attack. And I believe that is, well, you know, it's more of a special attack than a physical attack here, so I will give it the Venus Shock on Bulbasaur. Vines. Yep. Yes. You know, a lot of people are going to hate me for this as well. Sleep Powder is really, really cool, but its accuracy is way too low um, to use properly. So I'm going to get rid of Sleep Powder, and uh, we're just going to go with the Poison Powder and Venoshock combo for the moment being. Um, if I do want to put Pokemon in the sleep, obviously I'll probably use like a False Swipe Pokemon and something like that. But for now, we will head on and see what we can do. Ooh. Daycare Center, where you can breed Pokemon. <laughs> this is where the Pokemon have sex, mommy. Some other time. I have honestly no. Uh, I really can't be bothered. To, you know, I'll get rid of that. That's my housemate, Dan. <laughs> He's in the other room plan. Egg moves, yep, I know all about that. Anyway. He give me a nice back. Nice! What about you, buddy? Are you the guy who informs you on the eggs? 
I love the way the Dekerman has now changed from an old man to some young whippersnapper. Whatever happened to that? All right, let's see who's a little bit low on XP and then we can get them up a bit. I actually really want to get Vines to evolve. So we'll do that. Any trainers about here? What's up, Tierno? Have I caught Dunsparce? I have not caught a Dunsparce, Tierno. Oh, she has a Smurgle. You definitely have a Smurgle. If you don't have a Smurgle, I will be disappointed, new game freak. Oh man, she looks so cool. Yep, she has a Smurgle. I called it. She was always going to have a Smurgle as well. Right, fans, let's try this new moveset I'm trying to put on you. That would be a Poison Powder and Venom Shot combo, so get the Poison Powder on it first. Ember! Wow, he has Ember! Hold on, Vance. Get that Poison Powder going there. That there poison damage, right? I want to hit it with a Venom Shock to see how much damage it does. Ember should not kill me here. We should be okay. Oh no! It burns! Ah, oh, Bulbasaur looks so cool when he does that. Oh yes! You dead, son! Woohoo! Vans grew to level 17! Booyah! Sorius with the level 20. Torchic the level 12. And Artist Orja has been defeated. Goodbye. What? Vines is evolving! Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. So this is Abby, so we should have evolved one level ago, but I was doing it off screen and I kinda had to, you know, stop it, so. I'm trying to view this in 3D, but I don't know. I really I don't think 3D really benefits this game too much. I be sir! Sir! I be sir! Sweet. Thank you, Vines. So we got Sparky. Can I, can I have any items to heal you, Vines? Uh, or no, burn. I have a full heal. I need to buy some more potions, man. All right. Off we go, I guess, again. Anything else to be explored? I'm gonna take that. Honestly, I know people like the roller skates, and they are pretty good for getting long distances traveled, but... Did I just talk to you like a minute ago? Okay, I got a wild bottle. Need to stock up on some of the MR items. It's a Volbeat. Holy crap, talk about ugly! Get the hell out of there. Really, a Volbeat can outspeed me? Or sorry, a Volbeat will not let me get away. That's cool, me, bro. Really? Volbeat, if you want to die, you're asking for a buddy. And you know what? Just because I'm an S guy, I'm going to kill you right now. Okay. She's just done it. He's just done it. Vines, pull through this and I will give you a cookie. Oh, yes. Don't tell me she has synchronized as an ability. I think she does, actually. Okay, it doesn't. That's cool. This Venom Shock animation looks really cool as well. Yes! Look, it looks so cool. It's like poison coming straight out of it. Nice. Tatsumaki to the level 21. Torchic to 13. Torchic should be evolving in the combustion pretty soon. Combuskin. Did I speak to you? Okay. I have not seen a Ral shit. Oh, double battle. Bring it on. Bring it on. I'll see what you got. And I'll take you for a raid. And we've got a uh, artist family, Mona and Paolo. Mona Lisa and Paolo. Double Smurgle. We got Vans and your boy Ape. The first generation of starter and the sixth. So Vans, go for a poison powder on the Smurgle on the left. Yeah, you can go for a water pulse on the smuggle on the right. Let's get this going here. Down, 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 down. Nice. This clear small got moved like all. Okay, opponent eight attacks. So two turns and two KOs should be pretty good. 
for me especially. Right, so Vance, you wanna go for a Vanish Shock on the Smurgle? And you know what, since I'm such a badass, just bubble that guy and kill him. In previous generations, the water- oh, bubble hits two of them? I didn't know that. In previous generations, the water type has already been sort of defensive, but I think in this one, uh, the water type is sort of low HP, high attack, special attack, high speed. So he is kind of like a ninja class, which is nice. You have getting those levels up. Smoke screen. Nah. For, uh, might be useful, like, if you, the AI was a little bit more competitively, but... Ooh, Electro Ball. It's an interesting move, to be honest, and it's far better than play nice. So I'll take it. It probably does a little bit more damage for Thundershock and slow enemies as well. So that's not too bad. Do -do 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 -do. See you later, Smurgle. See ya, buddy. Torchic getting those levels in. Shouldn't be soon until he evolves. I wish you could rename the Torchic. Let's see what we got, though. Ooh, it's the... It's a castle! Battle Chateau? Right, what's down here? Anything? I'm just looking about in case I miss anything. Got another. What's up with all the painters, honestly? I just want to have a little look. Oh, what the hell? No. So there is going to be a battle item. Is, hmm, I want to fight this guy first. Actually, let me go and check the battle chat who would first. I guess it's an optional part of the story, but I would like to see what's up. Tell me what's up. Oh, yeah! It's that gym leader who's hot. The bug badge, indeed. Sir Paro? I like that name. A lot of people actually complain about me going too fast. Uh, if you cannot speed read, then learn how to speed read. Baron Paro! I like it. I've always felt that I've had a bit of royalty in my blood from a young age. So, Lady Viola. How about you come with me, Lady Viola? No, come back! Come back! I wanted to... I wanted to say hi to you more. What the hell are Santa Ritz? I have no idea what that is. You know, I'll probably come back here later in the game. You know what? I am gonna come back here later. Um, honestly, it's just probably like a sort of like a Pokemon World Tournament thing. I don't know. If it's a major part of the story and I'm missing it, it's my bad. But let's see. Who needs some levels? I guess Sparky could uh, get some levels on him. My Pikachu. Where we go? Let's take on some of these dudes. Of course, I get uh, Serena with me. Oh no, Trevor has a Pikachu as well. Bika, Bika! Why do you have a flash in him? That sucks. These guys are way too low leveled. Let's go for the Electro Ball and the Core Fish and see what we can do there. Yeah, that's right. Pack that Core Fish. Boom! Not on a mission, man. Not on a mission. See ya! Yeah, let's Thundershock the bird. Quick attack the Pikachu, please. Come on, bird. Do something good, bird! Well, I'm just gonna send out, like, Lucario or someone to kill this thing. Hmm, let me go back. 
Tatsumaki, yeah. give me Sirius. A lot of people have told me you can get a Sirius later in the game as well, but... Or sorry, uh, Lucario, but I want to raise my own. It's all about that, man. Please, that's a lot more damage. Why does he know Thunderbolt already? What the hell? Why don't I know Thunderbolt? Why TM? Force I'm not Pikachu. Get him away. Surprised even though he is paralyzed, he can outspeed a Pikachu. Weird. Bigga, bigga. Oh yeah, looks like we're gonna get a new evolution for uh, Torchuk as well. What? He has two Pokemon. Fla Bebe. Right, Sirius. I believe that's a furry type Pokemon, and I have no idea what furry type are weak to, but just hit it with your fist and hope for the best. Right, apparently, they are not weak. What? Hi, is a fading type weak. Oh man, that sucks. You know what? Just, I'm gonna give Torchic a little bit of experience here and get him evolved. Type matchups. Logic, there is none. Usually there is some. Like someone told me last episode that there are my last Pokemon series that like Psychic was weak against uh Psychic was weak against Ghost because everybody has the deepest fears and ghosts in the back of their mind and you know, obviously rocks are super effective against flying because you can throw rocks at birds, but I've never got the whole like why is furry weak against or sorry strong against fighting? Finish it off, Torchic. What? And um, there's the fleshling gone. Torchic, it's all up to you, buddy. Is that there? Speed boost. Quadlin. Ooh. That's her starter, I forgot. Well, I can just go for an Amber on this guy and get involved in the combustion, I think. Boom. Very nice. Get in, Sirius. Yes, Vines. We won. Unlucky big guy. I am the best. Serena, marry me, please, so we can have babies. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Nice little cool music there. Let's take a seat. Let's take a seat. Okay, then let's get up. What's this? A photo spot? Can you take photos in this game like you could in Animal Crossing? Yes, yes. Give me a photo, please. Alright, let's go. Let's go, Phil. Give me a photo. Oh, magnifying glass. Is there any, like, Instagram things on this? Is it 3D as well? No. Hmm. Can I do selfies? Or oh, just focus on it as well? I have no idea what this stuff does. It's like Instagram. I'm just hitting this and hoping for the best, man. It's light levels. Give me the focus. Give me the focus. No, that'll do. Yes. Pretty cool photo. Pretty cool photo. She can't take photos. Yes. Hundred dollars. Thank you. Thank you for the good. Oh, I do like to think my natural face and complexion does really help me out here, Phil. So thanks very much. So we have Salad City, the connecting cave, uh, or we can go down here. So let's see here. Well, we can go through the cave, or we could go the long way. And really, I have chicken legs, so I want to get all the workout I can. What's this one? Oh, we have three. We have two tons then. So I guess I'll pick the path of least resistance, which in this case is the one back here, because I just made that up in my head. So I guess we're gonna have to put Eve to the front here because, well, it's it's grind type Pokemon. We're gonna need him. In we go. Ooh, Zubat! Wow, Zubats! Why, Zubats? You've attacked me for generations and generations. Can you not just cut me a brick one time? Please, Zubats. I fought you off when I was eight years old. Yeah. I remember fighting thousands of you off when I was eight years old. Ducklet flying on water type. Right, Abe, let's go. Nothing really we can do here. Let's try to lick attack on it and see if we can get anything on it. Oh, that damage, man. 
Yeah, good one, mate. Okay. I wish I had to uh, get Vines to come out here. Well, it is flying as well, so I don't like. I don't like Vine Whip will do anything. Defog. Oh no. Hit it with the uh, Van Whip Vans. The reason I called Vans Vans is because, you know, Clamps from Futurama. He clamps things, whereas Vans Vans things. They call me Clamps because I can clamp things. Yeah! Well, they call Vans Vans because he can Vans things. Let's go, Abe! Lit Leo, so that's. <coughs> That's Eve's territory, I believe. I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed I didn't have a Pyroar on my party, but come on. Would you rather have Pyroar or the original Pyro Puncher? Exactly. Blissikin was the original Pyro Puncher. That was the guy that influenced me to call myself Pyro Puncher. Bye-bye. Sparky. Oh yeah! I believe it evolves here. Uh, focus on energy. I believe I also have the Charizard 8 X Lord, so I can get Mega Charizard X. Pikachu, okay. Hey you, Pikachu. Who can we send out here? Well, Pikachu is weak against Fighting, so we'll send Sirius right. I'm just gonna Force Palm on him. Well, he isn't weak against Fighting, but Sirius has a pretty good attack. Big eye, big eye. It's a female Pikachu as well. You can tell by the teal. Big eye, big eye. Man, she has a lot of Pokemon, doesn't she? Didn't realize how much she had. The Torchic to run around again, because that was pretty cute when it did it last time. I guess Pokemon breeders have always had a lot of Pokemon though. Yeah, I think the Litleo had a little bit more better uh, stats. But Torchic has the speed boost. And that is going to be a sweeping tool of destruction later in the game. Yeah, yeah. Nice one, Torchic. Level up again. Well, you were meant to actually stop leveling up. Oh, Twister. What is Twister? Dragon? Ooh. Well, I can assume anything's better than Tackle, even though that does have more damage. Put a little bit more type coverage into my arsenal. Arsenal? Sorry, I said into my arse there. That was bad. Mercy's a bit of a weird name. Ready? What? Torchic is evolving. Do -do -do -do. All my Pokemon are growing up. I feel like an old man already. I feel like an old man. Not good. I do try, I do try. So, we have a couple minutes left to kill. There's a hitchhiker here. I sure wish I could move this boulder. Strength, I need strength, man. I need to hit the gym. I need to hit the gym, give me some cell tech. Geodude or Zubat? Oh my god! That's a horde of Whismers. Right, we need to get this right. Hit him with a bubbly. Ready? Oh, yeah. That XP. That XP. They all fall down. Didn't even really get that much experience off it, though. They're all quite low levels as well, which is surprising. Right, let's see if we can get into the other cave. Off we go. Off we go. And in we go, but will we ever get to the other side? 
and get the Umbrella Turn. Find out next time on our next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Mind the Nintendo 3DS. My voice is going really high, so I probably should end this episode here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Paul, sign on up. Bye bye.